Hi, you guys. Welcome back. So today we're going to run really quickly through my October favorites. Now this was, some things were very easy and some things I had to sit down and think, what have I been reaching for every time I sit down? So let's start with the ones that I've just been reaching for without even opening my drawer, without thinking. They're usually sitting right on top of my vanity. And let's start with foundation. And this is the Dior Air Flash. And I did haul this a few hauls back. I'll link it up here. It's stunning. And this is in the shade 3N. And it's just very, I don't have it on today because I was filming another video. But if you go back to any of my previous videos, nine times out of 10, this is what's in the description box as what I'm wearing. It's very skin-like, but provides great coverage. I don't need the full coverage that I felt I needed or I, my makeup preferences for a foundation are changing, but for every day, I'm really enjoying this a lot. So next for brows, I want to say it's been in my favorites before, but it still continues to be a favorite. And this is the Gucci Brow Pencil in the shade Brun. It just goes on so, so powder-like. You don't need much of it. And as soon as you go, this it has your pencil on one side and your spoolie on the other. And after you, if you go in too dark, you just spoolie, it just, it's a perfect blend. I, I don't know what this does. And I used to use more of this until I found the Tom Ford brow gel. Jennifer from All Feisty just kept saying, you gotta try it, you gotta try it. She is right. I've always tried a clear brow gel. This one is in the shade Espresso. I love it. I do have it on my brows today. It just gives such a tint and a perfect tint on the hairs and not on your skin. And you just, I just use the brow pencil like literally right up here where I'm missing a lot of hair and just flick it up in the, in the center. I mean, in the middle here of the, the middle of the front of the brow tongue tongue tied and it just comes out flawless they look natural i i'm loving this tom ford brow gel absolutely and if this was in my favorites before then it's in my favorites again because i'm loving this so this next product i heard a lot of great things about i was kind of like is it really all that great so i bought a mini quite a few hauls ago and it had just been sitting there and I hadn't tried it and I finally tried it and it's the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I already have the full size on my in my wish list. And if I wasn't on a two month no buy, yes, 60 days, two months, I would have already purchased the full size. This is amazing. This, it does minimize my pores, but it really does grip anything you put on it. Before I would like, I don't see, I don't have a lot of hyperpigmentation right now. Um, what I did have is kind of going away, but when I would spot conceal and then put my foundation, it would move a little bit because my spot concealer is very creamy. I put this spot concealer and then I did my foundation. I was like, whoa, whoa, amazing. Next is the Dior skin forever concealer and this is in the shade 2n now i have never had a holy grail concealer and i'm still not sure this is my holy grail but it is the one i'm reaching for the most every time i sit down it's either this or the elf hydrating one and once i noticed i stopped reading reaching for the elf hydrating one and started reaching for this i said hmm is it reaching holy grail status? Maybe. I'm loving it. And thank you, Yachty from Yachty Beauty. So next, two lip products. So one, I have the box, but it's in my purse because I love it that much. 
and it's the first frost bomb frost from the holiday tom ford collection oh it's so good you could wear it on its own you could wear it on top of a liner on top of a lipstick and the other day i was at the mall with my daughter i'm like you want some lip balm it looks it looks beautiful on anybody she's only eight and it looks stunning on her and then next is the lisa eldridge lipstick and this one is in the shade velvet affair i it is what i have on and i am loving it this formula the feel how it has the matte velvet look but not the feel highly recommend i'm not sure this shade is still available but last i looked she did still have some shades available on her site so another lip is the chanel duos the ultra tenue Le Rouge Dual Ultra Tenue Gloss. That's it. And this one is in the shade Soft Rose. So I have been reaching for this particular shade a lot, especially if I'm going out because it is mask proof. So for mascara, I have been reaching for the Marc Jacobs At Lashed. It is difficult for me to find a non-waterproof mascara that I love. And this one, is, it's beautiful, it's stunning, it doesn't flake, it doesn't transfer, it doesn't give me all those little black dots up here once I start to get really oily. It doesn't transfer down here once I'm, I love it. So for blushes, I have been reaching for three specific ones. This is the this is the Dior Holiday blush. New Frisson, I believe it was. I don't remember the shade and it's not printed on here. But I believe that was the shade. I just love that I could throw this on and because of that beautiful sheen it just, I don't need a highlighter. It does everything. It gives you that glowing from within look. I'm really enjoying it. And next is the Wayne Goss Weightless Veil Duos. So the two I've been reaching for is the Blush Peony and the Bright Poppy. You guys. People, a lot of people didn't get this, like, concerned for this um, highlight shade because it looks kind of dark, and it looks dark swatched, but when you just put it on your hand and you sheer it out, and then you put the blush over it, beautiful, absolutely stunning. So even though I did get all four, those are the two I find myself reaching for the most. And moving on to eyeshadow palettes. So primarily for my day looks, I have been reaching for the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. And I'll link my review for this up here. I'm loving this for a day look, as well as the Natasha Denona Mini Star palette. They're both beautiful. They both go great with fall. They both give nice day looks. I, I love it. And I have been on a kick lately for the small, smaller palettes. So I have been reaching for these Dior Quince as well. And this is the Mitza. This is... That was a blush. The Mitza, I have the Rouge Trafalgar I've been reaching for, the Pink Corolle, and I actually just ordered a few more. So I'm really loving the just grab a smaller palette, take a look, get it all done. And this formula is to die for. It is amazing. It pretty much blends itself. It's little to no effort you can't go wrong and you can even use like the little the little brush or the little makeup applicators that come in here if you're on the go there 
you can't go wrong. And last but not least, these flowers, these paper flowers handmade from Eventful AF. These are stunning. They are beautiful. You cannot go wrong with these. If you're looking to spruce up any space, if you need banners, if you need anything, I'm going to link all her info down below. She is Eventful AF on Instagram, but she also has an Etsy store. And like I said, I'll link all that below, but I am loving these. And this Prince Purple is everything. And that's it, you guys. Those are my October favorites, what I'm reaching for the most often. What have you been reaching for? And don't forget, comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, bye.